Ready to fight? Ready. You are ready to go with live UFC action. Good to have you with us as we broadcast live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. Nice combination. Oh! Like that! Like that! Oh, he gets back up. The question is for how long? him right on the canvas. Huge moment in the round. It excites me to watch somebody land those types of techniques. The impact of that slam takedown was felt at the desk and in the first couple rows. Yep, gotta be very careful there. Back to his feet. Switching stances here. Oh, he's attacking the guillotine. Well, that guillotine is officially tight. Oh, hang on a second. He escapes. What a tremendous job. You saw his hands immediately go to the inside. Attack the lock. Create some space. Go to your back. Give up the mouth. But live to fight another day. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Hard ground and pound. Some swelling now starting to appear. Oh, it looks like he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. A lot of body weight from the top position. How does he go about trying to finish this fight? He just needs to stay heavy. He's got to keep his weight down. He's got to be working, but not working recklessly because this is a position that you can escape. Make sure you secure your opponent and make sure you secure your opponent. Land strikes that matter and end this fight. Beautiful transition. Oh, 13 steps in! Oh my goodness, what a fight. Make the bad man stop. A nice stoppage win for him here tonight. And the other side just couldn't handle the incoming assault. A flurry of punches, most of them upstairs. And when those big shots land repeatedly, the referee has no choice but to step in and call the fight. And here we go inside the octagon for the official decision to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 11 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO Pistol. Well done.